good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode this is what you are going to design yeah you are going to design this eloquent church flyer in photoshop i call it mystery of the mystery of the lord's battle mystery of the lord battle battle sorry and this is what you are going to design so please stick around if this seems to be interesting to you please stick around and then let me walk you through this um, step by step tutorials from beginning on how i was able to create the background how was i was able to add the team the 3d text effect how was i was able to add everything including adding the image and then adding beauty to the image and then after all everything so please stick around subscribe to this channel like comment and share and my psd lovers you know already the link is under the description below kindly watch the step-by-step -step tutorial to get the password to extract it for free so all the resources for the file that i use for the design are here i'll post them for you to be able to download practice and then share it with me on my social media handle so without wasting my time control n to open a new document all right so control n to open a new document and then this is the interface so i'll just type my my title mystery of the lord's battle the width is 2000 height 2000 resolution 300 is for social media handles and then that's all i'll click on create all right so i have my nice background or canvas size like this and then we'll start with working with the background so i have this couple of items here i'll click this and then drag it and release it in photoshop and then wait for it to load now it's downloading press enter and then right click here convert to smart objects awesome awesome go to view go to um sorry 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 go to um uh filter and then go to blur and then gaussian blur and set it to 30 it's awesome click ok then close here let me go again to the resources pack and then i'll drag this and release it in photoshop and then boom it's nicely press enter go to blending option and set here to that of soft light awesome click enter add layer max click inside the layer mask and then press B on the keyboard to activate the brush tool we are using a soft round brush we are using a soft so if you don't have it click this side and then go to general and then you see a soft round brush and then let me just clear the edge here let me just clear the edge here and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome let me go again to my resources file and then i think i have this i'll drag it in photoshop and then release it nicely click enter and set the blending option to that of this overlay is awesome add layer marks and then let me be on a keyboard let me just brush this side and then we just brush that side away and we are having something like this then that is awesome that is awesome i'll go again inside the resources file again and then drag this drag this sorry no sorry let's drag this rather and then release it boom nicely like that okay so that is also ready send click ok and then it will check it the whole alt and scale it up nice to cover the entire screen i think that's awesome press enter and then go to the blending option and set it to soft light yeah soft light is awesome soft light is awesome soft light is great very very great and i think that is done for the background that is done for the background that is done for the background so this and this put it in a group control gene and then call it background all right so the background is done nicely let's start with what the logo the church logo drag this and then release it in photoshop and then hold push it up here nicely like this and that is awesome let me go to view go to guide and then new guide layout and set the guide to six five and then in so doing we are able to detect the center 
we are able to detect the center so let me just pick this uh, uh, magic one too and then come and select only the text Control J to duplicate that size only the selected area come and double click the side and then change the color to color white you go to color overlay and change it to color white and that is awesome this and this Control J and then call it logo logo so our logo is also set nicely and then we are going to work with the te the team yes the team we brought this first brought this shield first before we did everything all right so the shield is successfully imported click ok and then boom hold alt and then scale it up nicely like this press enter add layer mask and then click inside the layer mask b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool and let's clear this side away let's clear this side we need only the shield we need only the shield and then move it up nicely like this move it up ctrl t and let's scale it up yeah let's scale it up something awesome like this is great it's great it's great it's great it's great and then let's see our blending option i think we gave it a blending option yeah give it something like um i think normal is okay normal is okay normal is not bad at all and then we are going to pick our 3d text effect i've already worked on it it's here let me just show it to you yeah this is the 3d text effect so if you have worked on it thoroughly i have worked on it thoroughly so that is it yeah so as i said i have worked thoroughly on the 3d text effect i've provided it here you can double click it and then type your text nicely and then you have something like this and that is it so this is the shield and then the 3d text effect so put this and this control j and then call it what team yes in case your team is different from mine you can also work on it and then just save it as psd file and then come and then bring it here nicely like this so without that then we are going to introduce the image we have the image here drag this first one drag this image and then release it in photoshop press enter to check it now right click it and then rasterize layer style click w on the keyboard and then you select the background you can select the background or better still control t to deselect and then click this side select subject so photoshop will use artificial intelligence to select only the subject that is what the image only the image and then you can what remove the background fast way all right so photoshop has select the subject that is why you are seeing that um, um sign or something selecting only the subject now you can compress a uh, press ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste it and then it select the subject and then replace it in a different area so delete the beneath one and then you have this image nicely yeah you have this image nicely then on the keyboard and then you can bring it down a bit this way yeah you can bring it down a bit this way and then you can pick the second image again you just does it drag it and then release it in photoshop and then wait for it to load guys wait for it to load all right so that is also done but that image is small so alt and then hold the edge here and then scale it up nicely like this and then press enter and then the same procedure right click rasterize layer then go to w on the keyboard and then select subjects yeah select subjects and the subject will be selected nicely yeah all right, so the the subject has been selected nicely. Control C to copy, Control V to paste it again, and then we'll delete the beneath one. Yeah, we'll delete the beneath one quickly, 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 quickly. We'll delete the beneath one. All right, so the image has been arranged nicely, nicely, nicely. Let me right click and then convert to smart objects. That is only the image. Yeah, I'll convert the image to smart object. Therefore, I can add my camera raw filter effect to it nicely. Yeah, just convert smart object. Now it has turned to one image. Now go to filter, go to camera raw filter, and then let's add the camera raw filter to the image to boost it up. Yeah, we want to boost 
the whole image up nicely please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel or this tutorial is helping you if you are a beginner on this channel or on this platform kindly watch more of my tutorials i have a lot of um, um, graphic design tutorials including flyers church flyers invitation cards naming ceremonies and then yeah name them funeral posters banners a lot of them a lot of them a lot of them just watch some and then let me know how you think so let me push this to this side and okay i think this is okay and then i'll push this to something like this it's awesome and then let me go to highlight i'll push highlight to this and then black let me test i think black this is awesome you see it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming then let me see this and guys and i think i'm loving it already so you see before and after let's go and check yes this is before and this is after and you see that after look great and if i'm okay with it i'll click on okay and then it will be applied onto the image boom now this is the new image i have this is the new image i have and then we are going to just type the names yeah i'm going to type the name so we'll hit t on the keyboard and then type with yeah with 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 so i'll use w as for the first caps w i t h yes i'm just using a specific font and therefore i need that capital w and then i'm going to use a font called taking by watches yeah taking by watches and then the, the color code is going to be color white yes color white and then pick it this way and let's see we turn here to 30 and let's see boom this is awesome i'll click here again and then type the name maybe thomas or uh, thomas sapon all right so that is for the purpose of tutorial in case this is the name then the font i use is this yes i use this font then let me change here to something like eight it's very very small yeah very very small and then we use a color from this side pure 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 color from that side and then we just position it push it to that of this area yeah and then use the arrow key just to adjust it and make sure everything is okay so double uh, select the two and then push it up like this and then you hold alt and then drag it to double or to duplicate it and that gives me then two names if in case i want to change here i would have to just double click inside this and then change it so maybe daniel daniel bonsu yes yes daniel bonsu this is the name perfectly like this and then i'll put all this thing in a group control g and then call it what names and image names and uh, images all right so that is it that is it that is it that is it and then we brought this rectangle do a nice rectangle like this and then the color we gave it was also a color yellow like that a color yellow like that we pick it from this side and then we position it at the center nice control a to select it and then center it this way control d to deselect it and then we are going to just write the details the details let me just go and show you the details yes that is what the date time location and then the contact details yeah contact details everything is here so let me just copy everything here and then yeah you copy it and then you move it straight forward to this side and then come and release it boom nicely it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here so let me just drag it and then position it on top of it and guys that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome i'll add layer marks to this um, rectangle i click i created click on b to activate the brush tool and then inside the thumbnail 
B to activate the brush to B again to activate the brush to and then the foreground color is black if yours is not on black go and change this color to color black yes you change this side to color black and that is it and then B again on the keyboard let me reduce the size of the brush and then clear this side clear this side clear this side and then here to clear this side and make sure yeah this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so all this thing in a group and call it control G and then call it what details yeah call it details and guys I think we are almost done we are almost done but when we are done we are not done completely like that there is something we did there is something we did there is something we did yeah and I think that is it that is it. basically that is it just if you want you can add maybe um just skirmishes and other things but um we we're supposed to add beauty to it but I think it's all already okay it's already okay but if you still want to add beauty to it Control Alt Shift and then E to match everything in one layer. Yeah, match everything in one layer. Right click and then raster convert to smart object. Sorry. And then you go to filter and then camera raw filter and let's boost it up. Let's add beauty to the whole flyer. Let's add beauty to the whole flyer. Please, as I said, subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, and then get the free PSD file by watching the full tutorial to get the password in order to extract it and then use it for free for the resources file the links are there you'll be able to download and then practice it and then send it to me if you're a beginner thank you very much yeah so let's boost the whole flyer by pushing this or you can push it to this side and yeah just be pushing it till you get the nice thing you want yes be pushing it till you get exactly what you are looking for yeah because you are the first designer so everything that comes out is your design imagination yeah so just try something whoever do a design from what you are doing is what imitating you and you are the originator yeah you becomes the originator of the whole thing yeah you becomes the originator of the whole thing and i think if this is okay for me i'll just um if this is okay let me look at before and after again and realize that this the after look great so if i'm okay i'll click on okay and then it will be applied to it boom this is it so before and then after so it look great so if i'm okay i'll just close it this way and then i'll save my projects i'll save my project in order to save the project for purpose of beginners, call Control Alt and then S. Yes, Control Shift and S, and then it will be able to give you this dialog. Yes, this dialog will appear, and then you'll be able to save it to anywhere. You'll be able to save it to anywhere. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm saving it to my desktop. I'm saving it to my desktop, and then first of all, it's saving as what. Well psd file if i want to save it in something like jpeg or png form i'll just go to this um save as copy and then i'll come drop here and then i have what png file format and then i can save them yes i can save them it's saving on my desktop so i'll click on save and then it will be saved to my desktop directly now you have this thing sometimes this may appear sometimes it may not appear but this is automatically will appear I hit on OK like this, and then the file is saved to my desktop. So please stick to this channel, subscribe, like, share, comment, and let me know how this channel is helping you. Until then, I love you. I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now.